Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, how's everyone doing on this Sunday, August 30th, 2020? Hope everyone's having a great fucking weekend. Welcome to another metallic episode of Music of Destruction, bringing you the best in metal-related content right here on YouTube. Decided to take some time off YouTube because creator burnout is a thing. I don't want to get short on ideas, and I really strive to provide the best value whenever you click on one of my videos. And I don't want to get unenthusiastic and just put out content for the sake of doing it. I want to be enthused, high energy, and entertain you guys as well as talk about metal, which is what we do here on Music of Destruction. And if you missed anything in the past two weeks, click the eye, get caught up on my latest five videos. I would really greatly appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed everything on the channel here so far. If there's anything that you guys want me to cover or review, drop it in the comment box below. I will be sure to take a look at that for you and most likely review it if it's not Slam or Core. Welcome to Album Review Tuesdays here on the channel and I know it's Sunday but I've got to get caught up on some content. So tonight we're talking about an amazing psychedelic rock doom metal band by the name of Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats with their album Bloodlust. Now this album came out in 2011 um, and was originally re and was recommissioned on... Rise Above Records in 2012, which is where I got mine. Uh, this is a great album, guys. I can't wait to talk about this. Uh, the band formed in 2009 in Cambridge, England, and have been quite prolific over the last 11 years of their illustrious career. And the band have released five full lengths so far, and one split over this period. And honestly, I'm quite excited for this review, as I said. Now, the lineup on the album is Cat on bass, Red, Drums, and Voodoo Makaras. Uncle Acid, Vocals, Guitars, Mellotron, and Synths. So just a three-piece band, which is pretty fucking sweet. I'm pretty sure they've added a new guitarist, but on this album, it was just uh, a three-piece at this time. So let's get into the review here. So the album opens with the incredibly blown-out, drenched-in 70s psychedelic haze, tinged guitar-driven stomper called I'll Cut You Down. My God, this is a really powerful track with driving doom-laden riffs of pure psychedelic nightmare-inducing madness layered in deep 70s uh, psychedelic production and a savagely dark murderous atmosphere of acid-inducing drug-fueled frenzy with an insane lust for blood, sex, and murder. And that's exactly what the music here represents from Uncle Acid. But there's an almost paradoxical vibe happening here because you would swear that this is upbeat music due to the tonality and the production and just the fact that it's 70 style uh, metal but it sure as hell isn't this is some really dark disturbing art yet of course it sounds like it came from the 70s long before black or death metal this is a sabbath style metal rock band in my opinion uh, that deserves a lot more praise and respect that they get because these guys are definitely onto something that the stoner doom metal genre sure as hell needed and this is an absolute stellar opening fucking track. One of the greatest album openers I've heard in a really long time. And I can see a lot of people getting into this band just through the, uh, the first track alone because it's so fucking great. Next up is Death's Door. And this is a swing jazz influenced dark trip into the corners of the psyche that drip with blood infused rituals and figures licking the ends of knives covered in flesh and blood. And the guitar work and drums and vocals certainly invoke these kinds of visions and emotions here with a deep-seated sin overtone that pours forth from the speakers as you are drenched in that deep 70s psychedelic haze of drug-fueled insanity and depravity. Now the themes of this track suggest someone who's gone off the rails and has become obsessed with bloodlust, murder, and depravity. And the music is definitely a stark contrast of these themes. And it does it with such stark brilliance that no band of today has ever been able to accomplish, in my opinion, especially in the 70s doom metal psychedelic rock style. And it fits the music so fucking well. Another killer track with Death Store. Next up, we have Over and Over, and this one sounds like a crashing wave of insanity and panic, as it reminds me of someone being stalked in the streets under the London fog while the victim runs and tries to hide in the shadows while being stalked by its perpetrator. And this guy is a complete lunatic, he or she, who's out for blood and driven mad by visions in their mind all while under the influence of an LSD psychedelic guitar driven atmosphere. And however, this is a trip that's gone horribly wrong and now they're out for blood. And the riffing, drumming, vocals and bass all do their part to illustrate these lyrics and bring forth 
the dark emotions and vibes that this track gives off from the vocals and lyrics themselves and it has a really frantic anxiety inducing pace that captivates overall and it's absolutely flawless killer song here as well next up we have curse in the trees and this is a slower plotting death ritual of long drawn out fuzzy doom laden despair hidden uh, ridden riffs and psychedelic madness that leaves you no room to breathe as the calm before the storm leads into a faster paced driving tale of complete occultalistic ritual inducing madness that compels your attention that the fr and the frantic pacing illustrates a witch who curses the surrounding land but is now being persecuted by the villagers in hope of capturing her and burning her at the stake uh, and the stark contrast in the instrumentation completely paints this picture flawlessly and the events and lyrics definitely have this flawless execution and it honestly gives you an extremely unsettling feeling and actually makes you think of these events and you can definitely feel the anxiety and the fear of the, of the person being persecuted here and ultimately knowing your own demise is coming and the band certainly knows how to bring forth these visions of the lyrics in all the instrumentation in every single song. This is another killer fucking track. Next up we have I'm Here to Kill You, which again reminds me of a psychopath who perhaps hasn't caught up to his or her victim yet, or perhaps she or he or she has and is now torturing them before they kill them. And the fear of the panic has reached critical mass in this track, and this can all be heard throughout the guitar riffing, drumming, and it takes you deep into the mind of its perpetrator and the victim simultaneously as the intensity of the instrumentation creates a duality in its drenched psychedelic insanity and depravity with that deep 70s doom laden fuzz that creates such an intense atmosphere that begs you to keep listening as this music itself draws you in more and more and keeps captivating you throughout the album's entire duration. Short song but effective in what it brings across here and the intense use of swing beats throughout the album also help to keep a very uneasy anxiety induced state prevalent throughout the record's duration. Great song here as well. Next we've got 13 Candles and if there was a song about ritualistic sex, murder and drugs and depravity, well this is it right here because that's exactly what we get with this track and this is nothing like I've ever heard before Sorry, either because the combination of that 70s fuzz doom laden intensity that I talked about earlier coupled with the psychedelic drenched atmosphere of the lyrics, bass and drumming bring forth such an incredible array of emotional depth and complexity to this music. The track instantly takes you into depths of ritualistic depravity and murder and lust and it isn't shy about it either as this band is clearly bent on reprising the horror movie influenced genre of metal but doing so in a completely different style. Normally death metal is the genre that has these themes and topics covered. However with Uncle Acid we get an acid fueled nightmare of death and depravity coupled with the emotional intensity here of drug induced states of confusion, paranoia and hallucinatory soundscapes that really make this atmosphere shine as well as this intensity that really bring it all together. Great song here as well. Next up is Ritual Knife and man does this ever paint pictures of bloody ritual sacrifices and spells of hexes. The demonic lust and depravity happening all around you keeps you enveloped as the instrumentation is fast, intense and nightmare inducing with drops of LSD influenced haze and guitar work with the drumming vocals that, and the vocals here are eerie as fuck on this track and will leave you in a strong sense of paranoia and fear and hallucinatory soundscapes and visions with this really crazy ritualistic tribal drum work that gives you dark visions of the events at hand and it couldn't be done any better because this 70s style doom laden fuzz that I talk about emphasizes all these elements absolutely perfect and it sticks into you like the knife itself carving images of deep-seated occult magic and depravity and blood sacrifices. This is an amazing fucking song, so let's listen to Ritual Knife here on Music of Destruction.
and we are back. Now, hopefully you enjoyed the song, guys. I thought it was absolutely killer. Finally, we have the track Withered Hand of Evil, which takes you straight into the center of the circle of dark, depraved, drug-fueled murder and lust. This is an absolute dark crescendo of macabre, waltz-driven, doom-laden madness, and the fucking band certainly cannot be denied as one of the biggest modern-day influencers in ritualistic, psychedelic doom metal because that's exactly what is being brought forth all throughout this fucking record. And it's atmosphere of psychedelic drug fueled darkness and insanity coupled with ritualistic evil soundscapes cannot be denied even for a second. And this track could almost be Death's Door Part 2 as it has a very similar swing beat pace and guitar driven passage that pull you deep into its world of complete black depravity and evil sin induced drug madness with sexual lust and perversion hanging and echoing itself forth throughout the entire album. This is an album that will corrupt your soul and your mind and honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. This album is an absolute masterpiece. The final verdict for Uncle Acid's Bloodlust is going to get a fucking 10 out of 10. If you don't have this, why the hell don't you have it? Absolutely incredible. And hey, if you're new, make sure you subscribe, turn on the bell so you don't miss anything. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Music of Destruction. Join the Facebook group, we'd love to have you. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Music of Destruction. The Seed, episode number 25, The History of Death Metal Part 1. Working on that right now. We'll be up tonight on Music of Destruction. Got it all finished. I just got to do the editing and make sure I haven't made any mistakes in the facts I've compiled for you guys. Go to Patreon.com forward slash Music of Destruction. Select the $5 tier to get access to these exclusive podcasts. For just a buck a month, I'll review an album of your choosing, and your support will help keeping things going, upgrading my equipment, etc., etc. So thank you for your support. Colton James and myself are going to be doing a brand new YouTube channel called Reviews on the Run, and our first movie review is going to be in two weeks' time. He's just got to order his microphone, and uh, yeah, it's going to be great. So let's check out a brand new clip of what you guys can expect. You know what she did? <laughs> Your canting daughter! What should be done with him? I don't know. I don't think that's true. And we are back. Shoutouts to some great metal brothers in the YouTube community. Metal Benz Chronicles, King of Swords, Acid Metal, and Backwoods Metal. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great night. We will see you in the next video. Cheers. And stay fucking metal. <laughs>